Hey everybody, Natasha here for Viridian Design. Viridian Design is a full service interior design and home staging company. And today we're gonna to talk about just making a beautiful bouquet. Something that adds a little pop to any resale or new designed home. And I've got some gorgeous flowers here from Trader Joe's. I love buying their flowers just because they are always so beautiful and I got a little in with their florist. So we're also going to do a little bit of a play on complementary colors today. I've got some orange and instead of doing your traditional blue I've got a little bit of lavender here. Okay so let's get started. I earlier picked out this lovely pitcher and I gritted it out um, with a little bit of florist tape just to give some structure to what we're doing today. Um, this is gonna be a little bit of an asymmetrical design just because of the spout, you're gonna have a little bit of extra flower hanging over the edge. And then I have a nice sharp pair of kitchen scissors. And I actually, since I'm not near the sink and you should always cut your flowers um, in water, I have a bowl here with me which I'm going to use to cut the flowers in. Okay, so we've got a little stalk. Stalk has a beautiful, just delicate scent. And then I've got some astromarius, and this will last forever. It blooms longer than anything else. And if you can get it fresh, it does wonderfully. Um, sometimes you'll find that the stalks start to mold if they are not really that fresh. Um, so I'm just going to get started. And we're going to just sort of guesstimate as we go. And not all flowers want it, but a lot of flowers like to be cut on the diagonal. You can't see it here, but I gave it just a little bit of a diagonal and it'll help it uptake water and stay nice longer. So we got some, just our first one there. And I'll probably move it around as we go. I like to sort of get a little bit of structure and then really figure out my placement. And then any lower leaves that we don't really need will take off there. Um, the less greenery you can get in the water, the longer your flowers will last without rotting. Okay, there we go. Start to give it a couple of different little heights. And we'll throw in some different flowers here. We'll grab my stalk. And it's just a game of setting them up and seeing where you like them the best and figuring out what height works best for you and what you're doing. And there is nothing wrong. There's no way to do this wrong. If you think it's pretty in the end, you've done a good job. Ranunculus in there. And you can see it starting to, just even now starting to come together. And I have way too many flowers for this face, but it's always better to have too many than too few. I hope you have enjoyed my tutorial so far and we'll see you again next week.